Hey guys, recently I started experimenting a little bit more with vibrato and um, to do so I, I used FM8 and I came up with some pretty interesting results I think. Um, so that's what I want to show you today. Here's a patch that I've made. Um, sounds like this. <laughs> And my idea was that I was reading an article um, recently and that sort of talked about vibrato and how it's it's actually a very sort of random thing, a natural sound. In case you don't know the word vibrato, it just means like a pitch wobble. And um, if you, for example, play violin, the, the violin player can sort of wiggle the string around to make the string sort of longer and shorter, which will change the frequency. Um, or on the guitar, of course, you can do the same. Now, when we use vibrato in synthesizers, we often use like a sine wave, LFO, we maybe give it a little bit of a delay, but it's very periodic. And I thought it might be cool to experiment with some more sort of random pitch fluctuations. And the perfect tool for that, of course, is FM8 or any FM synth, because FM synthesis is basically vibrato. So um, I'll just quickly um, morph through these four ideas that I have in this patch, and then we're gonna discover that ourselves. So basically I wanted to create these sort of more moving sounds with pitch. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to just get a new FM8 and we're going, going to try to work with that idea. Um, it's not going to be the exact same sound, but it's, it's about the technique. So um, in FM8, what you'll notice is that um, if I have one operator like this, that's being modulated by another operator, we get our typical FM sound. <laughs> very recognizable without that it's just a sign so fm is just is caused by this very fast pitch modulation if we slow that down we actually get into um, vibrato territory <laughs> So that will be your typical vibrato. But now with FM8, what you can do is you can take another operator and send that into this sort of modulator in this case. Um, so with that, we, we can sort of make a few different rates. Um, we could even use different waves and we could let them come in at different times when using the envelopes. And that way we can get very complex vibrato sounds. <laughs> So let's say, for example, we have E here, and E has a bit of slow attack. Um, that should be about right there. Um, so let's say we have E, and then after E has started its modulation, uh, I want to add another vibrato modulator from D. So that one is going to have a slower envelope. Something like this, perhaps. And we send a little bit of that into E as well. And then let's use C as a third modulator with maybe a, um, let's see, we can go for a more random looking wave. And again, we set that very low. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so now we've got some sort of a sound. Um, I'll use one other operator here to um, to give this a little bit of a more interesting tone. So I'll use a saw wave there, maybe an octave down um, with a very small offset. And we'll tempo sync that and we'll fade that in as well. That's just to, this one is just to create a more complex timbre. <laughs> And then finally we give it a little bit of a longer release. Now, so far, um, even though the, the vibrato effect is more random than, than what you would have with a standard LFO, it still it cycles at a precise interval. So um, what I've been experimenting with is actually using the pitch envelope to change the rate of the vibrato. And um, the first step to do that, like if I do it right now, and I'll just mute these for a second, and I just, I'm just listening to F. So right now, if I change this pitch envelope, um, operator F is going to listen to that. And in our case, we only want the modulators to listen to that. So what we can do is we can go to the operator page and then disable the pitch envelope for operator F and for A as well, because we were using that as a sound source. So now this has no effect. Um, but it will have an effect on these modulators here. So uh, I really like this. It, it creates this beautiful, like unstable, very, very rich sounds. Um, you can make it more stable, of course, by d dialing back some settings. Um, and then with a little bit of effects here, let's go for a chorus. Um, I always like the psych delay, which is a pitch shifting delay um, and a bit of reverb bright reverb. Um, I hope that gives you something uh, fun to experiment with. Of course, you can take it much further than this. You can now make um, different variations of these using the morph pad. Um, but this should be a good start. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.